Now in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to multiply two numbers together using a grid method. In this example, I'll be multiplying together two two-digit numbers. This method can also be expanded for larger numbers. Now we've already seen how to do this with one grid, with two columns and two rows, where we split the numbers into tens and units before we cross multiplied. In this example, we'll once again multiply 45 by 29. So let me begin by writing that down. And I'm going to draw my grid again with two rows and two columns. But this time I'm going to split each of the spaces in my grid with a diagonal line. That's going to become very important in the last step. You'll see why. We will be cross multiplying, but this time when I split my 45 into two numbers, I'm literally just writing the two digits down. The four, which goes at the top of the first column, and the five, which goes at the top of the second column. Likewise, the 29 splits into a 2 and a 9, with the 2 going at the beginning of the first row and the 9 at the beginning of the second row. Now, when I multiply these numbers together, first of all, they're smaller numbers, so it's an easier calculation to do. 4 times 2 is 8, but I need to be careful because my answer has to be a two-digit number. I've split my space into two. So therefore, eight becomes zero, eight, like that. And the five times two is 10. So the two digits go one there and zero there. There's our 10. Four nines are 36. So the three goes there and the six below it. And the 5 times 9 gives us 45, like that. So, now the last step is to add the diagonals together. So, beginning with this first diagonal, where there's only a 5, 5 goes at the bottom. Second diagonal is 0 plus 4, plus 5, and that gives us 10. So the 0 goes down, and we carry the 1, and we carry that to the next diagonal. Now, we've got a 1, an 8, a 3, and a 1. If you add those up, you get 13. So the 3 goes down, and the 1 gets carried to the last diagonal, where there was only a zero, so the last diagonal is zero plus one, which is one. And we've got 1,305. So 45 multiplied by 29 gives us 1,305. You might like that grid method more than the other. You might like the other more than you like that one. The beauty of long multiplication is you can choose the method that you find the easiest. So it's up to you which one you choose.